So today I'm doing the long awaited, highly requested blinging on a budget. I just want to talk to you guys about a couple jewelry brands that I really love that are a little bit more affordable to like medium price range that look really nice and that I think you can style and layer to make it look like you're blinging on a budget. And I've said this before, but I think back in the day and I still stick true to it now, what's really important when you're trying to look bling on a budget is mixing and just kind of layering and feeling like the most but not the most by doing too much it has to be simple layering so since i have one big necklace on i've paired it with like a thin chain my necklace is from shop g2g so this is one of the brands i'm going to be talking about it's like a little bit more on the medium side of cheap to medium expensive i'm especially including shop g2g because i wear a lot of her necklaces and every time i post in any of these everybody's like where's that necklace from i'll put some pictures up of what i'm talking about but you guys were really asking where they're from and then i've kind of just like mixed some stuff around so these rings are all rings I've had for years that are on the more expensive side, but then I love doing stuff like this. So this is a really beautiful ring. I think I found it for like $30 in Greece. Um, but if you go to like your local flea market or farmer's market, sometimes at the jeweler stands, that's a great way to find really pretty pieces. And you just have to like, you choose what speaks to you. You know what I mean? But I love having a lot of rings on. I've separated it all by brands, but I'll link this toiletry case below as well. This thinner chain is from a brand called Alana Marina, this one, and I'm gonna start with her brand and talk about some of the other pieces that I love. If you guys check my description box, I will link from all of these websites some of my favorite pieces that maybe I don't have or like things that I would want curated for me. So like on Alana Maria, I might put like necklaces that I would want stacked and a couple rings and bracelets and put it in my links and like just do that with every brand I talk about so you guys don't feel overwhelmed going on their website and you can just like look at what I would choose if you like my style. If you don't, ignore all that and you can say off Olivia. I am going to start with a pair of earrings. They're just a little hoop and they have this beautiful design kind of dangles off the ear. I think that when you're shopping on these quote unquote affordable websites or these jewelers that have a little bit more of a reasonable price instead of like $700 for gold earrings. When it's not 100% real gold or it's gold plated, I always suggest like something dainty and a little bit thin. A, I feel like that's always gonna look a little bit bougier and a little bit more like luxurious. Not all the time, but most times. If you're getting big diamonds off like one of the more affordable websites, I feel like you can kind of tell that it might not be real. Not that it matters, but if you're trying to just be like low key and you get what I'm saying. Okay, I wanna show this necklace from that same company. So if you're gonna do something that you want to be a little bit more bold, I really like stuff that looks like pearl. That's just my own personal style, my own personal preference. I think that looks really pretty and classy and feminine. This is also a really fun necklace to layer. I'll show you kind of in a different clip how I've worn it, but I kind of have it actually hanging this way. So the gold chains in the front and then the shells are kind of towards the back. Okay, I really loved this necklace. Again, you'll see like all the chains I am showing in this video are super thin. And then I love little pendants, but I love this one because it's a tiny, tiny little shell with a little pearl. I just think this is so pretty. Again, really dainty, really nice on. And then this is from the same company. I think that just a thin chain like this is really good to invest in. This is so pretty for layering with other necklaces. Like I could definitely add this to my stack, which we'll leave it on. And it just gives another dimension. It's really nice, but because we have thick and then a little bit thicker, I like to do something thin. If one of these is like $100, I'm sorry. I know that that's not cheap, but I'm gonna show you some other companies as we continue this video that actually are really cheap and really good. Shop G2G. So I wear these bracelets. I'm starting with these because I wear these bracelets all the time and I'm constantly getting questions on where are your beaded gold bracelets from. So it's Shop G2G. I love a stack of bracelets. I feel like it looks really luxurious and nice. And it also kind of looks like you put a lot of effort into what jewelry you're wearing. Just isn't that fun? It just looks 
Like this just looks really fun and luxe to me. And then I have a bunch of these little colored rings that are also Shop G2G, which I'm genuinely obsessed with. Like, aren't they so cool? Next, I'm talking about a brand called Melinda Maria. I love, again, just a dainty thin necklace. So this is like the first thing I wanna show you guys. I also love a necklace that has a stone in it i feel like when it's affordable these are like really hard to find where they don't look super cheap and i think this one looks really good so i wanted to show you this because i love that it's on such a thin chain i think that gives it that really dainty pretty look and then look how gorgeous the stone is the matching ring from melinda maria also is so pretty and i think it just again that stone looks really good for being on the more affordable side in my opinion and then I also just want to talk about this necklace. I think again, as I was saying, it's really hard once you start adding like stones or diamonds on these affordable to medium level jewelers that, not medium level like experience, but price. It can sometimes look a little fake and this one really looks beautiful. I think it's like the perfect size. It's not too much, but it just gives you that really pretty like feminine kind of diamond. I love also the shape of it, how it kind of looks like a little teardrop okay can you see that this is going to be probably the best company i talk about every jewels because i think they have literally a trillion pages worth of jewelry now when a brand has so many pages of jewelry you got to know how to sort through it so i'm going to sort through it for you and link some pieces from every below that i like with that being said every's prices are crazy like i would say it's the cheapest jewelry i've ever seen but it doesn't look or feel super cheap. Like I wear a lot of every jewelry. A lot of the times I just mix necklaces that are on my counter or whatever I want and I don't really look at the brand and then I'll take it off later and I'll be like, oh, what was I wearing? And it will be every. And I'm like, oh, I was literally wearing a $6 necklace. I'm like so obsessed. For starters, they carry rings. I think this ring is really nice. When you're shopping for something really inexpensive, I would recommend sticking very, neutral so i like that this is just plain gold but i do like the detail and it's just like it's a cute fit okay we're gonna talk about some necklaces but i have to untangle them we just love a dainty pearl moment it's so beautiful to stack do i need to stack something else on my neck no am i going to potentially i can't get it on I literally think their necklaces are like $10. I'm not even kidding. Maybe even a little bit less sometimes. So, and I'm sure there are ones that are a little bit more, but I'm just obsessed with this brand. I can't believe that they've figured this out because a lot of these jewelry brands have made a lot of affordable, beautiful stuff, but this level of affordable is, I don't understand. <laughs> Another beautiful necklace is just this square pendant with a long, gold kind of like braided chain almost that's really pretty a beautiful one to stack because you don't have too much going on you just have like a really nice gold pendant on the bottom and then from every i also just wanted to show you that they do make just chains as well just like little gold chains which are perfect for stacking kind of like i showed you with this one um and they have different lengths and stuff like that these gold earrings are from every and i really like them because i feel like sometimes with cheap earrings they chip really easily but these are still completely coated in the gold they're really lightweight so they're not going to feel heavy on your ears at all they have tons of cool earrings as well i love these little cross huggies like little diamonds on the center like that's really beautiful to me if you have multiple piercings that would be really fun to stack your earrings they also have little huggies with pearls that drop down i love that that would be really fun like one pearl and then one cross to stack would be really pretty on an ear and then they also have this bracelet i really love it's kind of similar to my g2g ones but it has little heart pendants so sometimes i like to stack this with the g2g ones and wear them all together and it looks really cute so i feel like i need to mention one thing that i like to do when i'm shopping for jewelry that I want to be real or feel real or be made with a little bit of a nicer material, but I don't want to pay a ton of money. Go on the real real. How do I always end up promoting the real real and everything I do? But this is where I get my really fun, crazy statement necklaces. Like I got 
this one from the real real okay this is obviously not gonna be everybody's thing i love a crazy statement necklace um obviously not with this this has to be a lone solo moment and it's gonna be with the right outfit but i do get questions sometimes when i wear my crazy necklaces like that so that's one I wanted to just mention this one because i get so many questions on it i got it in a vintage store in paris but I always get questions, so I just wanted to clear that up. It's also from The Real Real, just like a big chunky gold one. These are just fun. They're more like costume party, nicer type, not your everyday daily type of necklace, but had to mention because we love them. Too much stuff. Don't want you guys to get overwhelmed, and I have a lot of work to do with linking everything for you, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube if you're not already. It means so much to me, and I am posting on Snapchat now. I've been working with them a little bit, which has been really fun, so add me there, follow me on Instagram, whatever, you know the drill. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.